to teach AER Entertainment and Sports News. I'm Ella. And I'm Raven. And Jamie will also be reporting on sports. Today we'll be covering some interesting topics related to music, baseball, and basketball, and football. Hello, my name is Trinity, and I will be covering the shocking move made by Adrian Peterson. So long, Minnesota. After 10 years with the Minnesota Vikings, star NFL running back Adrian Peterson has signed a one, possibly two year contract with the New Orleans Saints. Peterson tells that the contract is for one year with an optional year long extension. In total, the deal is worth $7 million. For the first year, Peterson is worth $3.5 million, with the extension worth up to $8.25 million. Peterson seems to be very happy with his spot in the NFL. He says it felt right to be with the team. It matched his spirit. Seemingly confident in himself, Peterson claims that the team is solid behind quarterback Drew Brees and that his skill set will only add to the team. Adrian Peterson is rather accident prone and has been injured more than once in his NFL career. His last injury, one to the knee, forced him to sit out for a large majority of the 2016-17 season. So why would the Saints sign a contract with a rather rusty running back? In the 2015-16 NFL season, Peterson's last full season, he led the NFL with 1,485 running yards, and prior to that in 2012 and 2008. Saints coach Sean Payton says his plan is for Peterson to share backfield duties with running back Mark Ingram. Keep an eye out for a black and gold dress Adrian Peterson this NFL season. And now for Jamie, with some baseball coverage. Hello, my name is Jamie and I will be telling you about the big win from the Yankees up against the Red Sox. This was the first of 19 rivalry matchups of the season with the score of 3-1. On a Wednesday night at Fenway Park, the Yankees were not expecting to win over the Sox in their own stadium, but they made it happen with the help of Aaron Judge and Luis Severino. Aaron Judge managed to hit seven home runs at 64 bats, which is only four less than the Red Sox whole team total through 20 games. Luis Severino had seven outstanding innings pitching no hitters. After this win, the Yankees should no longer be a pushover to the Red Sox. Up next is Ella covering the music at Coachella. Hi, my name is Ella and I researched the event Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. Day two of this event exceeded the Coachella expectations in Indio, California with their prime time hip hop and dance. Lady Gaga ended off the night with Gucci Mane and during her performance she had many quick changes where her band had to play lengthy music while she was changing. All performers were comfortable on stage and have had experience with this music fest before. At the end of one night, Katy Perry and designer Scott had a dance party on stage. Coachella was opening up new chapters for itself, especially by boosting the amount of people and adding 20 acres. They also were hesitant, adding a big superstar, Lady Gaga, to its gigantic stage. Now instead of 99,000 people max, it could now hold 125,000 people. Enormous crowds watched and were entertained by the music. Tickets were also sold in advance for $399 each. During performances, small drones equipped with cameras flew over the main stage, and some cameras got shot up the fans as well. Now here's Reagan with news on basketball. Hi, my name is Reagan, and I'll be telling you about the loss of Tyron Thomas. At 5 a.m. on April 15, Isaiah Thomas, a former NBA player for the Boston Celtics, lost his sister Tyron Thomas in a car accident. Before the second round of playoffs against the Washington Wizards, Isaiah had to fly to Tamaka, Washington to the funeral. While playing against the Chicago Bulls, he had been very emotional and lost. With the help of his teammates, family, and other supporters, he had to build up his strength to win the playoffs. Now, he continues into the second round of playoffs, hopefully trying to pull off another win. Isaiah has many supporters to help him along the way, and will continue to fight hard for his little sister, Jen. That's all for now. Stay tuned for future broadcasts. And follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. At 20Harleys underscore Heroes 21.